Welcome back to Master Your Ash. I'm your host, Michael Prisdale, and tonight I'm going to be smoking the NBK. This is the Lizard King by Blackworks Studio. It is a 5x50, barber pole wrapped, beautiful Robusto style cigar, and this features an Ecuadorian Maduro. Ecuadorian Maduro over Ecuador Rojizo barber pole wrapper and the binder is Nicaraguan Habano along with Nicaraguan filler so we have Ecuadorian Habano or Ecuadorian Maduro Ecuadorian Rojizo Nicaraguan Habano and Nicaraguan on the filler it is made at the Blackwork Studio factory in Nicaragua and this originally started up as, I believe, an event-only cigar. It is available at any place that distributes Blackwork Studio cigars, as long as they distribute a certain amount of them, I'm sure, or they hold events for Blackwork Studio. And I previously had the opportunity to smoke the Killer Bee not too long ago. I'll post that review at the end of this one. It, it, it does feature a closed foot, so we're going to smoke another closed foot cigar tonight, which is really cool. As my last closed foot cigar, I like to always puff out a little bit. Double Ecuadorian wrappers. So initial lighting notes, very classic kind of classic woody notes, classic coffee, some cedar is in there, definitely some Spanish cedar. Nice soft box press on this, it has a good feel to the hand, nice firm packing of tobacco. The draw is completely open. It's a very voluptuous amount of smoke volume like the Killer Bee and the other Blackwork Studio cigars that I've been able to have before in the past. So far on this cigar, the coffee, the chocolate, the spices, the nuttiness, and even a slight hit of citrus, the, citrus, citrus, <laughs> citrus, they're all there. They're all present. They're all coming through quite wonderfully. And I've kind of moved through the first set of barber poles on the wrapper, moved through that closed foot at the end. Very, very delicious cigar. It is super refined, very nuanced, and also kind of mellow in comparison to the Killer Bee, which was... which was a touch on the bolder side, really, to start off. On the retrohale, there is a little mixture of black and red pepper that I'm getting in the first third. But it's very subtle, not stinging to the nostrils, very easy, super duper complex and nuanced, very, very well balanced. I think this might be, so far, my favorite Blackwork Studio cigar, this MBK Lizard King. It's really, really cool. And the band has got some fun like Lizard King kind of print on it. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe we get a little bit closer. It's got a little Lizard King on the back of it. Very cool. So this NBK Lizard King, right? This has a mixture of the Ecuadorian Maduro, Ecuadorian kind of Habano style wrapper in that Ecuadorian Habano Rojizo wrapper and that Ecuadorian Maduro leaf. And there's a ton of balance on this. Medium plus, maybe even medium. Starting out in the second third. Black pepper and the red pepper have, hit, have picked up on the retro hill quite a bit. I'm gonna smoke this down to the band and I'll be back. Smoking on down my Lizard King, getting through this second third right now. Love the, love the cedar and the woodiness of this cigar mixed with like the chocolate spice. It almost has, it almost has that Mexican hot chocolate thing that the Drew Estate under Crown Tenure does. Really, really nice. <laughs> Tonight, I've got a little horse soldier bourbon. And this is a wonderful, wonderful product made by 
the Green Berets that were part of the military force in Afghanistan shortly thereafter 9-11. So they were in charge of going into certain areas of Afghanistan, befriending the local militias, and then going in and securing certain areas. They were dubbed horse soldiers because of the fact that in order to get around, especially right after winter in Afghanistan, in this high elevation, they had to use horses, specifically stallions, over 50 of them, to get through different areas and go undetected with the militia. So they befriended the militia, commandeered the horses, and became the horse soldiers. They're actually, they were actually awarded and given a monument right at Ground Zero in New York City. So I'll post a photo of that monument. It's the same, um, the same horse soldier horse right here. That is actually the monument at Ground Zero in New York City. They do single barrels, small batches, and then this being just straight at 87 proof, One of the reasons why I like this with cigars the most is because of the fact that it has so much caramel to it. There's obviously a little bit of vanilla, some corn, some mellow corn to it, because it is bourbon, first and foremost, but the back end of it has this nice rye spiciness to it, and it brings out all of this caramel, all these wonderful caramel notes. Everything is made in America besides the cork, and all of the bottles are forged in steel molds that were actually created from the steel collected by Port Authority after 9-11. So all the bottles have a piece of 9-11 history kind of attached to them in multiple ways, which is really, really cool. And I kind of like the idea of having something that's 87 proof or about 90 proof for a cigar like this, especially as we hit the back end of this second third, because this is still remaining about medium plus. I wouldn't call it full body just yet, And all of the caramel notes in this bourbon complement all that cedar, that drying effect that you get from a cigar that's as spicy as woody as this one with the Maduro wrapper and the Habano wrapper. It really makes a perfect pairing. Definitely a wonderful cigar. This is now my favorite cigar that Blackwork Studio has put out that I've tried. I'm looking forward. Please comment below, let me know there's another Blackwork Studio outside of the Killer Bee or even this Lizard King that you think is amazing or that I should try. I'm interested in trying, uh, trying their whole entire lineup. I've been very pleasantly surprised with how much I've really enjoyed the two that I've smoked so far and I think that there's nothing but upward trajectory for this brand. Also, the same can be said about Horse Soldier. I think this is a fabulous whiskey, and I think that there's nothing but upward trajectory for that brand as well. So thank you all so much. Please feel free, if you found value in this episode, to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite Blackwork Studio cigar is or any of the ones that I should try. Let me know if you've tried Horse Soldier Bourbon or if this video is going to make you go out and try Horse Soldier Bourbon, and I will catch you again for another cigar review.